Hey bassoons, today we're gonna to talk about the parts of your instrument. Now there's lots of parts to a bassoon, so hang tight. First off, I'm gonna make sure my case is right side up. I have my pockets on top if I have a pocket case. Some of you don't, if you have latches, you just need to make sure that those flip up. And then the bottom of my case is a little bit thicker than the top of the case to make sure that I'm going to open it the right way. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo the, my case so I can open it up, and there's lots of parts here. And you always wanna do this from the floor anytime you're opening anything up. Okay, so here is my bassoon case um, and bassoon instrument. So let's talk about the different parts. You see there's four different things going on here. Let's pick out the easiest one to find first. This right here is called the bell. It go is the end of your instrument and you notice there's only one key here, okay? This key right here connects to a part on one of the other, uh, connects to a key on one of the other parts of the instrument. But this is the bell, nice and long, one key. This is where sound comes out. Okay, I'm gonna replace that, make sure it's back the way I got it out. This right here is called the boot joint, okay? So when I take it out, I'm gonna be really, really careful that I don't hit it on anything, okay? And this right here is the very bottom of the bassoon. So I'm gonna sit this on the ground just like that and that's perfectly safe, okay? So the boot joint, it has a bunch of keys, not just one, and then there's some of these big long things which are called rods. Now rods are really, really easy to bend, okay? Um, so you wanna be extremely careful, but there's like holes, that's where your fingers, uh, that's where some of your fingers will go, okay? And each of these moves something else, so you wanna make sure that you're just careful as you go. The boot joint also has two holes in top, one small and one large. That's where these next two parts that we're gonna talk about are going to go. When I place it back into the case, I'm making sure I place it back in the same way I got it out, which for me, these keys right here that stick out were on top, so I'm gonna place that back in exactly the way it came out. Now these next two, um, easy to get confused, but once you know the difference, it'll be pretty quick to recognize them. This one is called the tenor joint or the wing joint, and then the bass joint is the bigger one. So tenor, bass, or the way I like to call them is the wing joint and the long joint. It's the easier way to remember them. To take them out, they kind of go together, so I'm going to wrap my hand very carefully around both, not squeezing against rods, but wrap around both, and then immediately cup underneath with my other hand to make sure that I'm not bending anything or breaking anything, but that I have good support. So when I take them out, I can just set them on the ground right here. Okay, so let's talk about each. I'm going to lay one down very carefully. This is the wing joint. Oh my goodness, that wasn't very carefully. This is the wing joint, and it's called the wing joint because of this. It looks like a little wing right there, okay? So it has lots of really long rods. So if I were to grab right here really firmly and squeeze, I would probably bend this, which is not gonna be good because then your bassoon's not gonna work. This right here is the whisper key pad. Um, so this is one key that sticks up quite far. So make sure that you're paying really close attention to that as you, uh, as you are putting things together when we learn about how to put instruments together, okay? You've got a bunch of keys here in the back, a bunch of rods, right? Okay, the next part is called the tenor joint or the long joint. So wing joint and long joint is what you'll hear me say most of the time. Um, notice some more rods, lots of keys, things like that. These fit together just like this, and you'll notice there's even a little lock that locks them together, which I'm going to do every time that I put it together or put it in the case to make sure that it's not gonna fall apart and be good to go, okay? So this is long joint, wing joint, okay? And the last part of my instrument, okay, I'm gonna talk about is up here in the top. Some of you, it's somewhere else in the bottom of your case. Some of you, it may be on the side somewhere. But for a case, if you have a case like this, it's in this pocket, okay? Now this part right here is called a bocal, okay? B-O-C-A-L. This piece right here is $300 by itself. And it's really, really easy to break. This is super fragile, okay? We'll teach you how to put it together and all of that, but this is the bocal, okay? Um, so, and it has, this connects and there's where the whisper key pad that we talked about a second ago goes. Okay, so here's your bocal. Um, be very, very careful as you put it back in the case. And I will zip this up. This plate has titanium to make sure it's protected all the time, uh, which is really cool if you have one of these cases. But that's it for the parts of the bassoon.